and we're here again with uh, horror with Marquesian Buller on the Friday episode. This time we have something really good for you guys and girls. The Bird Box Challenge. What's the Bird Box Challenge, Will? Okay, so the Bird Box Challenge, uh, I'm actually sad to say that I didn't get through the book yet. I'm still going oh, through okay. it, but it's, you know, I have a lot of, it's, it's like between editing the show, between writing, all this other stuff, it's just a lot of stuff that's going on, so my reading time is kind of cut down. I want to see the movie after I read the book, so mm -hmm. I'm holding off, but I know exactly yeah. what happens, pretty much. I don't, I just don't know how it ends, but pretty much the Bird Box Challenge is you have these, these people who can't look outside, right? Because there's like a demon or a, or something that's following them. Uh, they yeah. In the book, they hint that it's physical. I know the movie wanted yeah. to put that it was physical in there, but they didn't really want to show you what it was because they felt it would make it cheesy. From what I understand, you can't look. It makes you think of something. It makes you realize something that's more, you know, it's above what we can comprehend, and it makes you go crazy, kill yourself, or kill other people, yada yada. But yeah. the bird box challenge is because in the movie you have to blindfold yourself, and you can't yeah, right. go outside the doors. You have to block yourself off from everything outside. And what people are doing is they're trying that part in the movie where, the, where they're sitting in the car and they, they like blacken all the windows, and <gasps> they're blindfolding themselves. And they so they're looking at the GPS and they're trying to drive around the neighborhood. I mean that's insane. <laughs> I mean, I can see if you live in, not even if you live in the suburb. Don't don't do this anywhere. This is is it's a crazy thing to do. Would Why you, would you? <laughs> it's like a challenge. Yeah. It's like all these challenges that are going around, like the Momo challenge and all these other things. It's like it's so dangerous. It's probably illegal as well. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> you know, so why would you bother? But I'm surprised. How far that, are you in, into uh, the bird box? The uh, the book. Yeah. How far? I think it's like page 145. Oh, I really want to get on this The Day of the Pig, you know, by Josh Mullerman. I think that, that looks really... I, li I like the cover. The cover's amazing of it. Mm. You know, and he, he just can't get hold of it. It's so expensive. Yeah. Cemetery Dancer selling it, I think it's like $40, and then to get it over here, it'd be another $25. And I'm not paying that much for a book. There's a place over here called PS Publishers, which take a lot of cemetery dance stuff and sell it over here yeah they've sold out of it so I'm like, wow wow oh, what a shame all right you get it's like a signed hardback in a slip case you know book you can't get it anywhere else it's not available on amazon or anything yeah those are like special editions but let me ask you a question do you think that you could pass do you think that you could pass the uh the bird box challenge i couldn't pass the bird box challenge without my windows <laughs> um, no, I find it really difficult. Like, yeah. That scene in the movie is unrealistic anyway. You know, they manage to drive down the middle of this road with cars parked on both sides yeah. without being able to see and they don't crash into a car. That's the thing. It's you like don't know a, if there's a car like in front of you that's that's been neglect, like left or whatever. Yeah. Or, um, yeah I think personally, personally, Mm -hmm. If you it's if it was necessary if let's say that whole thing happened, I Ooh. probably would be able to do it, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm so anxious and nervous that I yeah. would I would drive first of all so slow. So if I did hit something in front of me, it would just be a tap, right? Right. Yeah. Obviously, if there's bodies in the street, just like in the movie, you're running them over. There's nothing you could do; they're dead already. But the, the GPS, you're also at the mercy of the GPS, right? So I'm assuming that the satellites would still be working. Uh, because they're just floating around the, you know, in space. Yeah. The GPS does, aren't isn't like pinpoint accurate unless you have a really good GPS system, and and even then, it's yeah. not, you know, it's it, that's not even. I think if you took really, really special care, you might be able to do it if you were in the situation, because then you'd have more dire circumstances pressed upon you instead of, you know, you're just doing a challenge where. Oh, if I fail, I still get up the next day, you know? Unless you don't, because obviously, God forbid, something happens because of this crazy challenge that you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's a strange one. I said, though, when I was watching the film, that, you know, the driver and they're using the sat-nav to guide them, but like I said before, there's going to be cars parked on either side of the road, there might be cars in the middle of the road. Yeah. There's bodies, how do you know if you're hitting a body or something like something else? You know, you could be hitting a, bo hitting a body, you could be driving through someone's hedge, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sat, sat, sat navs aren't that accurate anyway, are they? You know, like you said, and I, I've yet to find a sat nav that's accurate enough to sort of pinpoint exactly where you were, even the one on the iPhone, which is yeah. very good. Yeah, You know, it's like, you know, it doesn't pinpoint exactly where you are on the road. 
who's what sort of people are attempting this challenge? It's it's like on YouTube they have it. The, they if, you know you go to um, the trending videos where they're trying this. I don't know if they're actually publicizing this. I think they're just talking about it like we are. Yeah. They might have had them up. I'm sure YouTube either took them down or I just think it's a dangerous thing. I think there's a lot of crazy challenges out there. Don't do the Burbox challenge. Don't look up Momo. No. It's Friday. And I've still got a cold. Unbelievable. It's been a week almost. I've still got a cold. And it's still snowing by you? No, it's snowing by uh... Well, it was snowing by me on Sunday. So, uh... We will see you on Sunday, maybe live, and um, definitely next Monday. And Gary will be there, the Center Dog will be there, and everybody will be there. And again, do not do the... Momo Challenge. Or the Bird Box Challenge. Stay safe, kids. Be the, the I'm gonna have the, the ball, ball. challenge. <laughs> I can't put that in. More, yeah, he, I got a challenge for everybody. Go on. Subscribe. Subscribe. The subscribe challenge. If you don't subscribe, I mean, we can get you. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we know. We know where you live. Oh jeez. <clears throat> well, we don't know where you live. No. I know, I know where my friends and family live. <laughs> yes. Make them subscribe. <laughs> Make them subscribe, or else. <laughs> the episode. And this one, this time, take again. Or, like you said, uh, yes. <gasps> <laughs> wow. You know, that kind of looks like um, yeah. that movie, too. What's that movie? Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> A little drum roll there. <laughs> um, yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. How have we been this week, uh, Sensor Dog? Rough. We've been rough? <laughs> <laughs> Self will. <laughs> Chico. He sounds like say that. Chico, you sound like you sound like the it clown. <laughs> I got something for yeah, you, Will. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, oh jeez. Oh my god. Uh, so <laughs> I actually had to you know, I okay, I got that because I needed it for <laughs> the blueprint. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, let me start it off. <laughs> Ooh, coke. What are you doing? Coke. Pour myself a coke. Just a coke? Uh yeah, I'm not really doing. I have got beer in, but I just can't be forced to have it because I don't feel too good. Um <laughs> Is that Diet Coke, Gary? It, it is. It Gary! Is, yeah. I what did I tell you about? We, got we, the don't Steve, we, we don't have Stevie over here, though, Will. We don't get it. No, but you might, you might as well be you're better off drinking a regular Coke. You know what? I can't, I can't drink regular Coke. And the reason why I can't drink regular Coke Too is syrupy. It, makes inside, it makes the inside of my mouth feel like I've been licking an old man's. 
That's why. I... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sad to say, oh, look at you, you're in space. Jeez, Gary. Gary, look, right behind you there, isn't that, isn't that Florida? Wait, is that Florida? It is, I'm, I'm floating over Florida. Why don't you come here? We could do the, the show live. <laughs> Together. Uh, let me, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I freaking knew it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs>